Hello everybody and welcome to our brand new Cities Skylines 1 fully modded British themed city. We have the map here Farmland Flats from the map pack number one by Sanctum Gamer and it just oozes that sort of British countryside feel. There's lovely, let's have a zoom out, let's have a zoom out, we can see. Oh, Jumpy Game is back with us from City Skylines 1. We've got this motorway that goes through the middle, we've got some ups, we've got some hills, we've got some downs, we've got this lovely river that meanders through there. I think it's got everything we need to make a lovely looking British city. I like all of these little farms in here as well we can sort of work with those lots and lots of building area waterways as well we can really get stuck in to all the details now i'm using as i mentioned probably all the assets that you can find that are british and uk related from the workshop i'm going to make those available in a sky playset. i think they're called if i remember correctly once the name of this city has been decided because at the minute there's people putting all sorts of fantastic names on a community post on my youtube channel so by the end of the episode i'm going to pick one of those oh jumping game again we're going to christen our city with its brand new uk british tea sounding name and yeah we're going to have a whole heap of fun so let us move away from this very iconic yorkshire tea van i mean that is just an absolutely fantastic look there isn't it i think i need to take a screenshot of that there we go it's been done oh that is going to make an excellent thumbnail so let's Let's find out where we are starting on this map. Oh, I've got so many cool mods that I'm looking forward to using as well. Now, as you've seen, this uh, road here, oh, jumpy game, this road here is not a British style road, but as we expand from our starting square, we will start to convert all of these. We're going to change the trees, the layout, all sorts of things. And here we go. This is. I would say a very typical style of UK slash British intersection or interchange off of a highway. And our starting square, I think it's this side over here. If we come out of this view, we'll be able to see it's this side over here. So we do actually get access to the train line as well. And just before we do that, a word from our sponsor, Instant Gaming. If you like saving money on games, Instant Gaming have fantastic deals on right now. Please use my affiliate link. You can see it on screen and it's in the pinned comment below. This link can be used for Steam, PlayStation or Xbox games too with amazing deals. Popular at the moment is Timberborn. Got to keep those beavers alive. And the fantastic Pacific Drive. Can you keep your car on the road? And any City Skylines DLC that you might be missing. Thank you for your support of my channel. Enjoy the gaming deals and let's get back to the video. Let's have a look where our first road is going to go. Well, first of all, oh, yes, we need to do the quintessential City Skylines 1 start, which is grab one of these roads, draw the tiniest piece we can, and wait while it unlocks all of these other roads and things that we've got available to us. What I want to do is put a, let's have a look, yeah, three lanes for each of these. I want to put a six lane road through the middle here. I think we're going to use this one, but to help us get that lined up, if we grab a rural road, oh, I haven't said that for a while, have I? Always struggle with that one. And then we can get right in the middle here. Let's just go where it snaps, go a little bit back. I'm going to leave that like that for now and then we can head off into the wider area because this is the only highway 
that comes through there. So this six lane road is going to be sort of a mini highway and then we can branch off that to any other places that we want to go to as well. And then coming off either side of what is going to be a roundabout in the middle, we're going to do a four lane road. We're going to do this one here with the trees, I think. Has that got parking enabled? It does have parking. That's the downside parking. We can turn off parking. That's fine. But I like the one with the trees down the middle. I think that looks good. Um, I thought I had the roundabout mod in here, but it seems to be missing from my list. Oh my goodness me. Cancel the whole series. We're done. Oh no, we're fine. We've got it. Control O. Oh, there we go. Roundabout builder. That is brilliant. Well, actually, before we open up the roundabout builder, let's close that down again. Let's pick a three lane road that is going to be used for our roundabout. So we've got this one here. That's for a turbo one of these there we go so what speeds are these that one is 60 that one's 30. this is quite a fast road but i've got to be honest if it's going to be a roundabout here by a built up area i'm going to oh, let's go with 60. let's live life on the edge and we'll see how it goes and that should be picked in there which it hasn't darn it okay what's this one called ukr lr 3l 15. so if you remembered all of that Good. I'm going to find that in here. Oh, I just clicked it and it's automatically found it there. Excellent. So that's going to work all right. And then I think if we just, look, there we go, turn it on and off again, it appears. And then, I mean, that is a pretty good size. I'm just thinking maybe a couple of dots like that. And that'll be fantastic as our little starting roundabout. But what we are going to do is change the way the roads come in here to be as they would be in good old blighty so let's grab our very cheap rural road again we'll be careful don't spend all of our money that is something we could end up doing if we're not careful i want to measure back here do you know what actually i'm going to leave that because i am worried about spending all of my money so let's just connect up things where we can and then we can do any sort of little adjustments as we go along i want a three lane normal three lane road here uh, split yeah that would do Mm, I'm just thinking I'm going to take this back a little bit. So if I do this all in pause mode and then changes that we make, yeah, that'll be fine. We don't get, doesn't cost us all the money. There we go. If we go up to there and into there, then we go up to there and into there, and then we'll turn that one round. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So that gets us in and out. Brilliant. Okay, that's good. That is a good start. So let's just grab some two U roads and start building where should we go where should we go so how can we do this without going bankrupt well we've got a railway line over here i think this is where our industry is going to be and i'm just thinking whether we can have a nice little community down here um, of people yeah in this area i probably need to find some more british props for power and water but what we're going to do is go with what we've got at the moment and not worry too much about it so a water pumping station which way is the water going it's going this way so we are going to pump from over here to get that. And then our sewage water drain pipe is just going to go from down here. And we're just sort of going to live with that uh, at the moment. We'll hook those up in a moment. And then for our power, I'm just wondering whether, could we go for wind turbines? I mean, we've got eight megawatts, eight megawatts. I mean, we could go, what do they cost? let's remind ourselves so naught to eight six thousand we've got these here like a little uk substation that give us five which is not much less than that but only cost one thousand so we could go with a few of those or we could just go straight for a coal power plant and just get enough power to keep going mm, maybe we'll do that let's lay out some little country roads down here we're going to use this rural road that's got some nice stone walls built up on the side as well i think eventually this will be a roundabout but for now i think we're just gonna take it as it is yeah that'll be okay excellent i love the details on this as well with the extra trees that we get and the little walls down here yeah this is looking nice this is looking nice and then maybe if we just take this little section here and just use a standard road and then we can set something up and get some houses built alongside here so we don't want that's so that is a rural road but i think that isn't going to put anything alongside it no i think we're okay so if we just use this one and then we can build off of here now when we first start 
uh, doing this. We're not necessarily, until we unlock, let's have a look. Yeah, we can get houses built alongside there. That's good. We're not necessarily going to get the British looking houses straight away. That is something that's going to come once we unlock districts and that sort of thing. So we really are going to have to just sort of go with what we've got. I'm going to do some sort of semi straight roads, but in a randomish pattern so we can make good use of the space that we've got that's going to go across there yeah there we go and we can fill that bit in and then for our power let's just pop one of these in here somewhere let's turn that off so we can see i think if we have this this little substation right up by the side of the road where's the door in like this there we go. We can put some details around there, can't we, later. But that should then, if we have a look, yeah, give us some power. Excellent. And then we'll just sort our water pipes as well. And I believe they're probably going to go under the road where they belong mostly. But, of course, we're sort of spending a lot of money doing this. So I'm just thinking at the moment we might just go for the straight old grid and then just hook all of these up like this. And then that can change as it goes along. This is going to need power, isn't it? Let's just unpause the game and get that going. We've got 15,000 left. Oh, that was really jumpy. Yeah, let's just zone, get some people in. We'll, get, we'll take whatever we can get uh, moving in because as soon as they move in, they're going to be paying rent and things. Yep, so our drain needs electricity. I don't have any UK power lines either, darn it. All right, well, we're just going to get these right up against the side here. Yep, excellent. So that's all going to hook up. Let's take a look at the sort of houses that we're getting popping in. We are really going to get a mishmash because we've got all sorts of UK types of houses. I like this one here, even with the tree right in front of it. These are quite good. I like that. But we do actually have some village housing we can use. But we're going to need to wait until we've unlocked. Let's have a look at our milestone. So when do we get districts? That's going to be a while, isn't it? So if we just have a look along here district worthy village so we've got to get up to 1000 people before that can happen but i think our first um worry is to make sure that we get to little hamlet which is 550 people because then we get taxes and loans and all that sort of thing so maybe let's just draw out another little area over here oh i'm gonna use the picker picker mod i haven't done that in a while and get some more houses growing out here as well There we go. That's filling up nicely. We are running out of money. Something chronic. I might have completely overspent uh, on, <laughs> on the start of this little area. We'll see how it goes. I do know we're going to get a bailout, which if we have to do that because we've spent more money to get our nice British theme going, then I mean, are we going to complain at that? I don't think we're going to complain at that. I'm certainly not. Um, let's see the industry stuff. Um, I want over here, and I'm just wondering whether we can just see how this goes. Oh man, this is going to be, this is going to be close. Yeah, we need to get some industry. I am just going to do this. We are just going to basically have it off of this main road here. That's what we're going to do. And before we run out of money, I'm going to get a power cable. We've run out of money. We don't have any more money. This might be the first series where I've run out of money before I've started, but I'm going to sort of distract you all with all of these amazing buildings that are popping in. And yeah, we're going to see what happens. These aren't going to get any power. I wonder if we could just make it jump along here by doing a little something something. Do you know what we could do? We could make it jump along here by just doing this. And then these are going to fill in. And oh, water pipes. We have no water pipes either. Oh my goodness me. Is this going to be the absolutely worst start ever? I haven't played City Skylines since I did that last New Zealand video, which was pretty interesting, I have to say. Um, also, getting Blighty on the Wold back running again. Oh, is everybody moving in? They're all moving in. Look, they bought their tractors, they bought their little minis. Don't run them over. They bought their Volvos. Yeah, unfortunately, Blighty on the Wold was dead in the water. I tried and I tried and I tried to bring that back 
and it just wasn't happening. It wasn't happening, unfortunately. Here they all come. They're using the roundabout well. We're getting a few. Oh, look at these industry buildings. So once we get the districts going, we can then we can then just change everything up to get it all set up exactly as we like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep zoning in as much as we can and try and get these to get some electricity and then see if we actually survive the disaster that I've done and uh, are able to get onto the next level. Oh, we've started to make a little bit of money. We've turned it around. We haven't had to take the bankrupt thing that they give you. Why is nobody growing in over here? I mean, I've got this all zoned. I suppose we need some more uh, demand, don't we? We've got more zoning than we have got demand. I'm going to just remove all of these trees from around here just so they're not all hidden under the houses when they grow in. Excellent. And we're making money. And this is going up. Our industry might actually get some water. And then once we turn the tide... We can then uh, remove all of that and put it in its proper place. Oh, and while we're waiting for that to happen, let's have an auto save, a quick sip of tea just to calm my nerves because, man, we need to get through this. I've got to start all over again. Oh, we're almost there. We're actually going to get into a positive. We're going to six. Look at that. We have got into a positive. Can I eventually give some water to, <laughs> to my... Can I afford to get a pipe over to here? 320, that's going to cost us. Good grief. Oh, I've just got enough. 320. And then for the rest of them, I need 920. By then, we might actually hit the next milestone. Let's see what happens. Oh, 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 oh. We're so close. We're literally three people away from hitting at the target. Let's just zone some more houses in up here. I don't think these will all get water just yet. I feel like it's going to pop up. We've gone past it. 5.61. Oh, I thought the game had crashed or something there. Good grief. We've made it. We get an influx of cash. We can now do taxes. We can now do loans. I don't want to do a loan. I never do a loan. And we've managed to make it this far without a loan, without the bankrupt thing. So we should be okay. Schools, we've got British schools. We're going to have to save up for those. I don't think they're all going to show in here, or are they? Yes. So we're going to be using Toronto schools because most of them pretty much look like UK schools. Um, so they give us a nice big list of those. There we go. Oh, excellent. We've done it. Okay, so our next milestone is 1,100. Let us just slow things down for a tiny spot. What I might just do is make sure that the rest of this has water. And then, man, this is going to be like a huge tidy up once this is all done. Yeah, there we go. And then what I'm going to do is just zone the rest of this in and then people can move in. Let's have a look at yieldy taxes and stuff. So budgets, right. I want to make sure we're not spending too much. We're not. Um, so actually, do I want to go up? I think we'll just up that to 110% and just sort of keep that in the yellow. Water, we've got way too much. Um, so I can't move that window over. So we're going to drop that down and try and balance the budget that way. Is that going to be okay? Looking at these, see whether they're going to dip. I think that's going to be okay. Dropped all the way down. Excellent. Okay, and then let's have a look at our taxes. Well, we know these can go up to is it 12 or 13. I'm going to put it on 13, see if anybody complains. Anybody complaining? Anybody complaining? Oh, I think we've done it. I think we're okay now. We can start spending our money wisely and laying things out where we want them. Fantastic. So, rather than do all more roads and stuff like that, I'm thinking this area here would be where we could put a nice school. We're probably going to lose some of these buildings here. Oh, we've got healthcare and stuff first, haven't we? um yeah let's maybe do that so we've got a medical practice that's got some nice detailing and stuff we could pick a little spot in here maybe i'm just wondering the fact that this is going to cost us ten thousand that we just hold fire a little bit until we've got a little bit more money in maybe just spend a little bit on laying out some roads up here i think we're going to do that instead and hopefully our taxes are going to build up enough that yeah we'll be okay Yeah, something like that. Not too complicated. They're already coming up here and using the road, which is something that we expect. And then I'm just wondering whether we could just... I'm going to take the zoning off of this main road. And I think 
if I go like that, yeah, and then if I grab that road, and then if I upgrade it, oh, that, that is the way I want zoning removal to work. There we go. Lessons there for those making these sorts of mods for City Skylines 2. Uh, yeah, some of those are going to be unhappy, but that's fine. Excellent. And then up and down here, we're just going to go for, we haven't got, we haven't unlocked any industry roads yet, so we're going to have to wait for those. Um, and then these ones up the side here, we could just add some with a bit of parking and just sort of go up to the end. Oh, yeah. Let's put the zoning back on. Excellent. That will do both sides. Yeah, there we go. And then we just sort of add them up here, give us a nice amount of space. And they'll sort of look like they're backing onto this main road over here, um, which will be fine. And they'll all come around this loop. Oh, no, don't snap. Don't snap. I want that length there. Thank you kindly. There we go. Something like that. And then we've got room to add a train station, a cargo train station when we get there. Of course, these are all going to need water. Excellent. So what I'm going to do is dezone. I don't want all of this industry down here. So if I dezone all of this, how long is it going to take before the game goes? Hang on a minute. We need a load of industry. Let's do that. And then how are we doing for our next milestone? I really want the districts. So then we can start getting the items in that we want. Oh, power is going to be the other thing. I'm annoyed I didn't get a UK power cable uh, for all of this. But we'll just make do with... I'm going to bring it down here. Across there and down the back. Oh, another save. Well, I think that will be okay there like that. And then once these all disappear, I wonder if they are going to disappear. Do we have anything set that's going to stop those from disappearing? We might do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete them all. There we go. You're gone, you're gone, you're gone. Now, I know I've got Rico and all of that where I could manually pick these to go down. But what we're going to do is we're normally going to do it by district. So we're going to set a district look. And then we're going to see what pops up. There we go. We'll do that. They'll, they'll come along. They'll come along. They'll know when they want it. Whoa, mama, we've run out of water. What did I do? Did I put that far too low? I put that far too low. You think I would have learnt, but uh, no, I didn't learn. Let's just go up here to 80. There we go. Excellent. And hopefully that will be okay. Tell us now whether that's okay. Why is it so bad? What's going on? Is something broken? Oh, you've got no power. Why not? That power goes across to there. That power goes up to here. And that goes along to there. Have we run out of electricity? We have. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Well, I can add another one of these in somewhere. I mean, that can literally just be tucked in. I do sort of like putting them by the, by the road. But uh, we've got everything all built up by the road, haven't we? And as we said quite a lot, a lot of this is going to change as time goes on. So if I just pop that there, that should give us another thousand. That should jump up and everybody should be happy. Excellent. Yeah, there we go. We can put our water back down again because that was the problem that we had with electricity. Very good. Very good. Some of these are going to start moving in. Some of these are going to be huge. I mean, that is a massive one. I really don't want that. But I don't think I want to play whack-a-mole at the minute. I just want to hit the next milestone which we're so close to uh, where else can we build that's actually got water and we've got this little section here i'm just wondering whether making maybe a little shopping area hmm let's have a look sort of over here a commercial area or we could just continue it along down here by yeah let's do that let's just maneuver some of our little cables we've got going on yep there we go we'll get our commercial going down the main road there and now we're getting more industry need so let's just i'm going to just fill like a load of this in so we'll get as much industry as we need coming in there and then again once we get the district sorted which we're going to be so close to doing we can then start finagling things um, i'm just thinking where to build out to next i'd like to build out I might just leave this for a park area and start building out here. Now, I'm thinking this sort of place down here could be great for some terraced houses coming straight off that area there. Nice big plot of land that a developer would come along and say, I'm going to buy that. And then along the front here, we can have some really nice apartments. Why don't we do something like that? You've got a lot of industry need and we've got it all zoned in. You just keep growing over there. That would be great. What I'm thinking for this industry area is going to start getting a bit busy. We've got this four-lane road here. I want to find an asymmetrical road, asymmetrical UK road. Um, that is just a six-lane road. That's a six-lane road. We've got other ones here that we can unlock. Six-lane UK. Okay, well, it's got trees on it. Is this an asymmetrical? There we go. That is exactly what we want. Excellent. 
Excellent. And it's got the little signs for going round the roundabout in the right direction. It's got these little things here that you always see. 40 mile an hour. Yeah, that is looking good. I like it. I like it. Right, so looking at this parcel of land, let's try and get some roads set out for terraces. And we don't have the option to landscape just yet. So I think we just need to try and stick to this piece here, which isn't too slopey. I think it will be okay. There we go, that's much better. That's all nicely covered. That is the sort of way we're gonna be having our water pipes, nice and neat and tidy. Power can jump across here, I believe. So let's start by zoning this little section here in the middle. And again, I don't want them coming off of this main road here. And that really should get us there. I mean, what are we at? 973 population. What do we need to get? 1,100, I think we are going to be okay so let's see what happens when these grow in and there we go i think we just hit it 1101 worthy village districts policies extra squares loans where are we going we don't need loans that's fine district specializations and all sorts of other things and it's interesting so far we've managed to not place any service buildings and get this far which is good by the way one of the mods we are using is the realistic population mod so let's just slow down a moment so if we have a look at some of these houses that we've got here so this house this is four semi-detached houses so ones like that it says four households yep that's good so you should have a realistic amount of people living in here and as we go through and start setting things up as we want them we can change that as well which is good as we're talking about mods i'm also using the traffic manager mod Ooh. I have got easy mode on. Good grief, what am I doing? We are going to turn that off. We are going to have no despawning of the traffic at all. Why is that? Oh, I thought there was a 20 mile an hour sign poking out the top of this house. Yep, so we're going to turn that one off. Um, we've also got all sorts of other mods over here. We've got the picker picker mod, we've got the pedestrian bridge mod, the zoning adjuster mod, which works very well along with the zoning that we've got here as well. So we will probably use that as we go along. I'm using the Lumina mod and I've got my own little setup on how I want everything to look, which is probably really hard to see. Let's just turn all of those off. We move over here. So if you want to copy how I've got things looking, we've got the cinematic HD color correction. And I've got that saved, but this is my setup for the sun. You can pause if you wish to do that. And for the visuals as well, there we go. So that is how everything is looking. But now, of course, we can play with our districts, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's start with our industry one over here. This has ended up being quite slopey, slopey, isn't it? Well, that's okay. We can sort of pick and choose the buildings that we want as we go along. But let us just pop in. And the name that we've got here, let's turn that on, is Holly Park. Well, I'm going to start picking some names from some of my Patreons. And I'm going to try and sort of mix them up with some of the names that have been suggested on my Discord to come up with something like this. So we are going to have little 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 potty pantofels so pantofels that's somebody who's just joined on my patron thank you very much and little potty was suggested by peculiar over on my discord so this is going to be industrial estate there we go if i managed to put an n in there that would make much more sense and i hope all the name fits in it does look at that fantastic so now with this district made we can have a look at the styles that we've got and these are the ones that we can pick from but we're going to make a brand new style and for that we're using the district styles editor mod so for those that haven't seen this before i've got some styles that i've already made in here um, if we change this one to just show what's included we can turn on and off the different types of zoning but i've got them all on so we can see i've got a european vanilla and we can sort of scroll through that and see all the different types of housing that we've got there's loads there's absolutely loads in there we're not going to go with those we've got the european suburbia which again is the built-in i think these are the vanilla type houses or maybe from one of the content creator packs or something like that modern city center you know about those ones heart of korea yeah so some of these 
go with that. Some of these I've made myself to go with that. I do like this one here, Industrial Revolution. Those sort of brick built buildings and what they upgrade to, I think can actually look very European. But what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start a new one. So let's set that to all. We're gonna start a new one here and we're gonna call this UK Industry. Yep, that will do, excellent. Click OK, that will appear in our list over here. Very good, very good, right down the bottom. And then I'm gonna turn all of these off and I just wanna see UK generic industry buildings. And if we sort of hover over some of these, we can see we've got uh, version one, version two, version three. I think these are different, oh, they're all level ones, that's fine. So we can sort of have a look through here. We've got the big factory. I'm not sure I wanna go big factory yet. I don't wanna go British seaside. I do want to include these. I like these 1950 ones. So if we select those, what are actually another way of doing this is if we go, they're all 1950. If we do a search, 1950, that will just show those. Then we can include all of those. And that will just automatically tick it all for me. There we go. Excellent. And then we can remove that. And then we get our list again. Just makes it a little bit easier than having to click each of the buttons. We're going to skip all the big factory. We're going to skip, oh, I do like that bonded warehouse. So we'll just select that one seem to have jumped me back to the top again let's try that again there we go i'm not going to do the british seaside factory stuff we'll have another place for those uh these facilities again i do like those but we're not going to go those industrial estate yes i want all of those so i'm going to put in here industrial and i'm going to put in estate just so we get those ones we're going to select those there we go. And I'm going to take out state because there were some other ones in here which look quite good as well. Unit. Yeah, so let's put unit in there. And actually, we're getting a whole load of other ones that are popping up as well. Oh, these are good. These are good. Car repair, all sorts of branded, named UK style things. Oh, these are good. I like. I'm going to get all of those in there. Very good, very good. And that might be as far as we go for now. For this one let me just scroll through and see if there's anything else that catches my eye oh there's some really good ones here we've got some generic warehouses but these uk industrial units there is a whole load of nice ones there which is really good so i think what we're going to do is just zone this in as it is for now and then you know later on as we, we might sort of start moving these around using move it and that sort of thing um i'm thinking where's the zone where's the zone so if we do that style go right down to the bottom uk industry we're going to save that so that's going to over uh, overwrite anything that was there at the moment i'm just wondering if there's an easy way to get rid of all of these and get them to change because some of them might actually fit the bill i'm going to just watch this for a second and see whether any so some are going to grow i want to know whether any are going to disappear because they don't fit the bill i don't know i don't know we'll see i mean it might be like this one here this one here this definitely wasn't in our list this one here i don't like the look of that one dulux is fine yeah mss lasers that's good travis perkins or oh, how many of those have you seen laminated floors a lot of these are looking cool, actually. Yeah, these are looking good. Uh, these three in a row, I actually don't mind that because they're all different names anyway. So that works out well. Yeah, do you know what? I think most of these we're going to keep. We're not going to keep the ones that have got the big chimneys. That is going to go. That I don't mind. Yeah, this is going to go. That's going to go. I can sort of tell by the colours that they're more the generic ones that come with the game. We've already got one of these, so I'm going to just leave that one. And I think that's okay. And everything else now that comes in will be part of our little pack that we've put down, which is good. I'd like to fill all of this in with concrete as well. So I think we're going to... I was looking for signs earlier. Didn't see a sign. Uh, so let's grab some concrete here. So we've got... Hmm, what options do we have? Oh, we've got these options here, haven't we? Surface tool, of course. So we can draw the pavement in which would be one way of doing it if we just have a look yeah that might be the way of doing it actually okay there we go that looks much much better i can't do anything about the lumpy bumpies at the moment because we haven't unlocked terraforming but i think that looks good we've got a couple of little spots here that we can just fill in just to get that done there we go and then i feel like i want to put some fence around the back there so if we've got 
a nice little non-complicated fence. Very good, very good. I don't think I'm going to fence in... Oh, we need more power. I don't think I'm going to fence in all of that, but we'll see how we go. I'm going to pop another one of these over here. Right at the beginning. Let's turn that off so we can see which way around that needs to face. I want that facing that way, like so. We'll pop that there. And then I've got access to paths. Paths, paths, paths. They get me under there as well. No, no access to paths. Hopefully that's enough for you. Five megawatts. Yeah, you look like you're doing okay. Let's just see. Oh, okay. You're not popping up for some reason. Have I got to turn that on? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're fine. We are fine. Excellent. So we've got plenty of space to fill in there. So then perhaps what we could also do is change this one, this little area over here. So if we pop another district in here. And the name for this one is basically just going to be a straight up name. It's going to be Old Teafoot, which I think is a great name. That was suggested by somebody on YouTube called User UOF7W and a load of numbers and letters. That was exactly the name that they had. Uh, yeah, very good. So then what we're going to do is we're going to use this again to set up um, a new. So we're going to have UK Terraced. Um, yeah, do you know what? Actually, I'm going to find the terrace houses that we've got first because I'm going to name it depending on what we're going to use. So we're going to have all sorts of terrace houses. I was thinking of going, but I do like these stone terrace. Let's just pop in here. Stone terrace. Ah, oh, so we only get five and they're all level one. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, do you know what? I really like these stone ones. So I think we're going to... We're going to use those ones. Stone Terrace. And we've got this one here. But not that one, actually. So I'm going to do all. And then I'll just take out this one. That might be the easiest way around of doing it. I've only got to click once. There we go. Excellent. So we'll use those. And... Oh, have I accidentally put them into my UK industry one? I'm a bonehead. Let me just put together a new one. Okay. So let's jump into here. Go to styles. We're going to use UK Stone Terrace excellent we've got that one set i'm thinking even though they were they were all only level one i might be able to force upgrade them if we need to a bit later but i don't really see that as being a huge problem so i am going to actually delete all of these and then we've got a lot of demand for these there's all the people leaving i'm so sorry i've kicked you out of your houses come back we're going to have some beautiful beautiful stone terrace houses that are going to be built in here i didn't actually see how large they were a misspelling stone uh, it's not showing up in the list okay well let me see if i can find it there we go stone terrace level one number two yeah oh they are tiny they are absolutely tiny so if they're too wide i could have another road and then two we could have some little tiny lanes going up and down here couldn't we oh okay let's make full use of this space Ooh, I think they actually take up more room than I thought. Even though they go in like that, I don't know. But they're not they're not like zoning in, which is really weird. Hmm, I think we might just have to place these in. Oh, we got flying cars. Oh, look at that. Who's missed the flying cars? Yeah, I think we might need to do that. And also, I'd like to sort of scroll through the ones that we've got here. Have these got... Has that got a hashtag number on it? It has. Yeah, okay. And I know there's a key to scroll through. Let me find out what that is. Okay, I've set it as my mouse key number four. So we can see it's jumping around and randomly grabbing different ones. So, until, oh, let's, let's, it does that one there, which is a little bit annoying. Excellent. So I can just press that, go along here, place these in. And the last one. There we go. Oh, I like the look of those. I do like the look of those. You get the little power box outside. That is a funky looking terrace row of houses. Then we get a little bit of a gap out the back. And we could do some detailing with some garden stuff down there as well. So I quite like that. And then what I'm going to do is, rather than place all the other ones individually, this is a fully modded city, isn't it? So why don't we do this? Marquee selection, buildings. And we can go like that all the way down there. We can copy that. That's going to take a second to think about it. There we go. Right click. Turn those around. Hold control. 
No, Holt is going to be a way of getting that to snap. It's Alt. There we go. So I'm now snapping it against that road there. And that should be... All oh, these things come flooding back. It's been so long since I've used all these different mods. That should be... Let's have a look. Correct. It is not quite correct. It sort of buried them into the ground. And yeah, I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to... Oh, actually, no, no, no. It's okay. I think... The road is a different height as it goes along. Ah, oh, I believe there's a way to fix that. There is, they're still all selected. So we just go into here to terrain height. They'll all do a little jig. There we go. Fantastic. And that's it. Yeah. So they're not all level with each other. They're level with the terrain. That is looking brilliant. And with the gap down the back as well, we can get some gardens in. Let's have a look actually and see if we do have let's just deselect all of those and shut the move it mod let's see if we do have any gardens we can use like some pre-made ones yeah so these gardens here i'll just hover over that so you can find them if you want by shane uk let's just they do place up against a road so we're going to need a road the other side they're too wide so i think if we do this right oh, we're gonna have this problem again aren't we we're lining this road up exactly where we want it i mean if it went there through that way let's just grab that and then put those up against there like so how does that look i mean do you know what that is that is almost pretty much perfect isn't it along there i mean it might be that with a bit of move it mods they sort of go over a little bit like that but what i like about these if we select that and we just place those along here i wish they would snap to the right size but there we go yeah we need to make that road bigger is they oh they're just not quite the width are they let's grab that thank you so if we go like that yeah we can just just get away with it i think yeah something like that and they're all random as well which i really like so yeah I'm just going to place a whole load of these in here. I will do it off camera because it's going to take me a few minutes. And then, yeah, we'll see what it looks like afterwards. Oh, what do you think? What do you think? Oh, 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 we're going to get a little jumpy game there. What do you think of that? I'm loving all those gardens down the back there. That just looks fantastic. And these rows of terraced housing, I just think these are really really cool wow okay so this starting area that we had over here that is going to be a project for the next episode there's gonna be a lot to do there we've got to add our schools we've got to add our service buildings so many more things that we need to add in but i'm really loving the way this is going so far so let me know what you think in the comments below be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the city skylines 2 city skylines 1 auction not included timberborn and any other content that i fancy playing do not walk on the roundabouts there's a path right there i don't know what they're doing but yeah loads of things going on on the channel over the next coming weeks thanks for watching have a great day Bye bye